I managed to buy a Yamaha R6 for just a hundred pounds. Yeah, a hundred pounds for the whole bike. Well, what's left of it? How did this happen? Well, I was wrenching on my mini when I got a message from my dad. Oh, no. <laughs> the bike looks terrible, but we put the tools away, had some food, and grabs a hundred pounds. We didn't really know what to expect, but we hopped in the car and went to view the piece of scrap. Now the hard part, we're getting the price down to 100. And once we'd managed that, we paid the man. And took our newly acquired turd to its new home. <laughs> for like a rest of our handshake. Our first step was to get it out of the van. And look at it. Like you can imagine, this was sold as a non-runner. The lad said he was riding it in the rain and that it randomly cut out of him. He then took the wiring loom out of the bike and hacked it apart trying to fix it. And after a short amount of time looking at the loom, we said huh? it and bought a new one. And whilst we waited for the new loom to arrive, we thought we'd check the oil. And what happened next is not good. There was no oil in it. So we decided to put some fresh oil in and ignore our discovery. Moving on to some compression tests, which against all odds came out pretty good. But before moving on and installing the new loom, I have to do something really important. Now with the sock gone, we can move on to installing the loom. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see if we can fire it tonight then. And with the new loom installed, it was time to see if our turd would fire up. And if the engine is fired. Fire extinguisher through the ring. Spirits were high as the engine seemed sweet, however there was another big problem. There was a crack in the block where the chain had snapped on the previous owner. And as we were running the bike, oil started to leak from the engine. It was clear that the owner had tried to fix it with some sort of putty, but didn't do it well enough. So we got some on order, and moved on to cleaning the rest of the bike. The difference is insane, and now it's looking fresh and the oil leak is repaired, so we can put the engine back into the frame. Cheers. And now we can move on to the fun stuff, picking the fairing. And this project is supposed to be as budget as possible, so I'm looking for some used ones. And after a quick search, I found some. The only thing is, they're over four hours away. But fortunately, one of my friends is in the area and will pick it up for me. Yes! Whilst we were waiting for the fairings to arrive, we decided to sort the tank out. As every time I look at it, it makes me want to vomit. Yes! Here we go. The tank is looking good. Now it's time to see our new fairings. 